Another puck in adventure. Which we pulled out the cigar box. Gonna go get stuck into the backpacker environment once again. Some backpacker shall alive. Puck We could be on the mushy shakes and everything in between. So, let's see what we can muscle up. Welcome back to the Puck Live Show. Another speed bump in the development of Pucks Plus Thailand. Apparently, my construction company, that construction company, the Crooks, say they have COVID, so no one's on site. So I thought, what better time for another Puck adventure? But I've mustered something up, it's a little bit different this time. Here we have the locations. Koh Samui, Phuket, Rally Beach, PP, Bangkok, Hanoi, Vietnam, Krabi, Pai, or Singapore, four floors of horse. If you know, you know. We're gonna put them all in my cigar box, and I'm gonna pick three locations at random. Then we're gonna put how estimated long the trip's gonna be, seven nights, five nights, or three nights. Then my budget, $2,000, $1,000, $500, or $100, like the last puck adventure. And then this last one, can't really understand that, no hookers or hookers. I think that's a silly question, but fold these up, we're gonna put them in the box, and we're gonna go from there. Bit of a different puck adventure this time. This is my boy Will, he's, oh, yeah. Lester. he's joining me, so it's not just diability and me on the trip, I've got one of my lads, about time. And he's the first guest of Pucks Palace Thailand, but it's still it's not fully ready, so we have to go away. So, Will's gonna hold the box. I'd love to go to Singapore, floor full of whores, but, <laughs> who knows, who knows where this is gonna go, but we we'll start there. Back. Rayleigh Beach. So I've heard good things about this. I've never been. It's like this reggae beach you can only get to by boat. So it's a good start. The first location, second. Oh, we... Crabby! Haven't been there either. This is two from two, I reckon. So third location now. PP, PP Island. Haven't been there in about 10 years. Ben Saunders. We went on our first Thailand trip and got the camel toes. And it's been a bit quiet apparently the last, uh, so obviously COVID the last six months, but it's just kicking back off, so what better time? So there are three locations. Next up, we choose how long we're going for. Five nights. Yeah. Suitable time. Hopefully the boys are back on site by then and we're away. Now we're going for how, what my budget is. You saw the seven day adventure around Thailand. I got all the way up to Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Pattaya. Hell of a trip. That was only $100. So imagine what we could do if we get a bit more luck this time, a bit more budget. Well, my boy from Lisa is gonna shake the box. This is for our estimated budget of the trip. Which one I want. $1,000. All right, we're gonna have some fun. How good. And then the final one, hookers. <laughs> or no hookers. It gets tiring, like I love to go back to rooting some first world girls, so you know, the backpack is back in the country, so who knows? Does this oh. count for all of us, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let Will choose this one. But yeah, it'd be nice to get back into the backpacker scene. <laughs> oh! oh <God>. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there it is. We're going on an adventure, all picked by random at the puck box. Oh, right, Chavo, be quiet. We've got Will joining the fold. So there's three of us on this journey. Let's see what we muster up. Stay tuned, we're leaving tomorrow morning. How good? Another puck in adventure. Five nights away. Hopefully the boys are back on site. Hopefully a bit more work done by the time we get back. We're going to Krabby, Rayleigh Beach and PP. We pulled out the cigar box. Gonna go get stuck into the backpacker environment once again. Some backpacker shalalas and hopefully dive in deep and we see what we can muster up. Stay tuned. We're up, we're up. Here we go. Breakfast of champions. Got the liquid crack. Good rope. Let's start the trip. Cheers, buddy. Here's two. Five days of mischief. Yeah. Getting stuck into some backpacking shallow life. So it begins. Don't forget, you can get these on pucktours.com. <laughs> Woo! Look, I found my queen. Look, she's got Steve <laughs> rubbing <laughs> in there. I really don't want to ever hear the story. I feel like you're going to go to my story. I bought the essentials. <laughs> Thank you.
back. <laughs> Last drive I said, five minutes, getting a quick street pad tie and uh, my crispy pork. Can't get a soup because we're obviously hopping on the boat. Will's run off to get some beers. We're on tour, baby. Look at this. Better pad tie that you ever get back home, right here on the street. 50 bucks, it's like $2 New Zealand. And we're on for about a three hour bus ride to Krabby. It's quite cool because I don't think I've done Krabby before, so I like being out, outside my depth and a bit of the unknown. Here we are, we have made it to Krabby. But Krabby's like it's like the region. It's actually where all like the islands are, so we're not too sure where to stay. We're gonna rock off for either a hotel or hostel. I wanted to be a bit more in the backpacker environment. Will does too, but we thought maybe hotel flash or backpackers. So we go on to one, two, go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm a hostel, your hotel. Yeah. Okay. Hey, fuck. What hostel we stay? <laughs> Might be open. <laughs> <laughs> open. Open or closed? All right, we'll come have a look. <laughs> Four eighty baht. So it's about fifteen New Zealand five dollars each for a combination for one night. So I mean, stick to your roots, which is me really. Cool. By the time you see this, it would already be sold out. But the new merch is coming out. It's on my t-shirt. Putin, more whores, less wars. Jacinda and Clark, because they're both criminals. Bonnie and Clyde, <laughs> next one. Don't believe <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what the? Bro, that is all time, bro. Do I get a cut of my one? Yeah, we'll work out a percentage. We're on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I like to make sure that she's made for it. I'm wrong! Ready for the boys. Right, super like. Super like. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> oh, we're in it again. So, no hook, no hookers were the rule of this trip. But me and Will, he's holding the camera, 
going off to get a massage. So last time we did this, Dylan ran off and did three hookers in a day, spent all the money on my cards. <laughs> I'm giving it to him again, just for <laughs> McDonald's, sir. McDonald's. <laughs> Touch my watch, why you won't get dead? Yo, one up, your man get shift. Yo, one up the right and left. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. When they ask in the interview room, I don't know. How many gal in the room, I don't know. Is that your gal in my coop? I don't know. Are you mad? Are they wrong from fed? Touch my watch, why you won't get dead? Yo, one up, your man get shift. Yo, one up the right and left. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. When they ask in the interview room, I don't know. How many gal in the room, I don't know. Is that your gal in my coop? I don't know. Are you mad? Are they wrong from fed? Touch my watch, why you won't get dead? Yo, run up, your man get shift. Yo, run up the right and left. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. When you ask in the interview room, I don't know. How many gal in the room? I don't know. Is that your gal in my coop? I don't know. Are you mad? Only run from Fed. Touch my watch. Why you want to get dead? Yo, run up, your man get shift. Thanks for seeing you here, John. Brexit, breakfast of champions. Woke up in some beautiful places in my time. Didn't make it back to the hostel, but a result in the end. Can't buy beer in Thailand till 11. Breakfast, pork bun, and liquid crack. Let's go, Rally Beach. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, night one is in the books on tour. It's my boy Will. We're heading to Rayleigh Beach. I've heard magical things about this place. The weather's turned it on for us. So pretty excited. I've heard it's like kind of like a rasta. Um, secluded, you can only get there by boat. So um, like we could be on the mushy shakes and everything in between. So see what we can muster up. judging it yet but because we're just walking down the strip but it's quite modern like it still has houses and whatnot Man, on, on putt tours we sailed from Panama to Colombia you could throw the rugby ball from one side of the island to the other yeah and yeah. there's literally just hammocks you stay in hammocks yeah yeah and there's just a shack like and that's like absolute paradise I mean this is amazing as well but I'm, I, I, it's a little bit more modern than I thought like it still has hotels and whatnot I like when the islands are still scarce and hasn't been touched by the first world. No hookers tonight, Will. <laughs> <laughs> no duck cooking. Oh, man, so we're playing card roulette. I played this with Lupac and, and Kano and whatnot and I lost miserably and it was a big appeal in New Zealand. I don't actually take card here, but we're gonna get him to choose. You pick what card pays, we'll pay cash, but you choose which one. Standard gambling, you know, good backdrop, good luck. But we've been going good lately on the gambles. It's been, it paid for this trip for me and Diability. 0, 9, 10, 17, 23, 26, 30, 31. Oh, same numbers every time, so I'm either hot one day or not. But anyway, when you film me, it's bad luck, so over and out. <laughs> Wait, look, 
Right, you, 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 you're tuned into the Puck Live Show. Lou Puck's coming to visit for the opening party. You heard it here first. Oh! It's in writing. Say a number, so if I say a number, so it's gonna be the two one zero. So if I go one and you leave your finger on, of one, okay. one, one. Thanks for playing, mate. Whoa, the loose! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <man. You're> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> what a woman. <laughs> Drink up, son. Alright, so here we are. We all did a bit of mischief last night. He's in, he's in the doggy box. <laughs> so, I have one space to stay with me in a five star resort. <laughs> Diability always fucks up, so he doesn't have a choice in the matter. This is stay with me, and this means staying in the gutter, <laughs> or a dirty backpackers, or a hammock. Either or. So, this is Will's gonna pick. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, what one? Do you remember which one? Yeah, yeah, sticker, yeah. Stickers, 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 five stars. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which one? Sticker. Sure. Yeah. Ah! Dylan! Get him out! Fuck. Hey, what You wouldn't believe it. Oh. <laughs> what happened in Rock that time when we got a hotel? Oh, it's a Mormon hotel. Nah, it's all. It's a Muslim hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you a funny story. We had a rum and tug at um, we were really crabby. This is last night. We were trying to do a couple's massage by me and Harry Langford and Bali. I kept trying to talk to Will, like, Will, are you there? And he's like, ha ha. I'm like, why are you not answering me? You're still there. And then I realised why. We walked out, <laughs> walked out, and there's like all these old ladies getting their nails painted. And I'm like, I had to walk past because I never wear undies. Like, and I got a Licky cock syndrome, but you can see like piss slash cum sort of drip. <laughs> As I was going over, you can see it, like it was right there. That was honestly probably the best hand job I've had in six months. It was like tantric. She was just like, because I couldn't get it up. She was just like tickling my little. You know when, <laughs> you know when your cock bends back on itself and you're having good sex. It was like couldn't get it up, but she's so she's just like going like this. Anyway, great. Luckily, great time. I didn't break any rules. <laughs> <laughs> We're on Rainy Beach because she looks like she's doing Vorti. Will's never done one, so he's going to give it his best attempt. Shout out to Danger. Lost a good one. Yeah. No, Spain dog. <laughs> no, that one. 
that was me endangering Tomorrowland. Um, him and the boys did it in, um, no one remembers where it originated, but they did it in Amsterdam years and years ago, the ball tiki, and then now it's become a thing. I can never do it, so I left it, but yeah. you want to almost get it in your mouth, oh, those fight ants, <laughs> fucking, look at that. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> and then, like, give it a, like, yeah. <laughs> but this is going to go terribly wrong. Hold it. Beautiful. Doesn't look nice, doesn't taste nice. Oh, it's actually right. Mix it with mango. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about Trip I have ever taken in my life. We were, couldn't be in public. <laughs> as soon as he said to the kid, Are you real? So he had to look down here. And we're just floating. This this cliff face was doing all sorts. It was we went through stages of you know, euphoric. I swear my soul left my body like five times. He held funerals out there for me. Like drifted right out there to the far boy. We worked out that that boat, there was like a floating light. We didn't know what the UFO was coming or what not. It was just that, it would have been that boat. We were just floating, but we couldn't even be near each other. Like, I was probably 100 metres that way. What well, was 100 metres that way? One of the nicest beaches in the world, and we just, like, that was magic. Like, my hands were here, like, my body was there, my soul was here. I swear my soul was leaving my body. I can't probably do mushrooms ever again because nothing will come close to matching that experience. I think I died four times. But. What do you reckon? Oh, mate, it's unreal. Best trip I've ever had in my life. Yeah. You know, I, I said it's like those floating tanks that you can pay for. Like if you're anywhere in the world, maybe like I said London, and you lie in those floating tanks and you choose your location. You could like choose Rayleigh Beach. We were here. We were lying in our float and just drifting. Bit drained now, onto the next spot. Rayleigh Beach was a success. Definitely one of the best spots I've been. Let's see where we can get a boat to now. We're on. Right, random adventure. So we just picked an island on the map, Ko Yao Yai. And then we're hopping on the speedboat to Pipi Island. So now it's about time we talk to some people. We're off on a little private boat, pack tours at its best, five hours, cruise around the island. We'll see what we find. <laughs> 